Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Future Trading with Mike, and today is uh, August the 10th. August the 10th, it is Wednesday morning. Um, it's a little bit after 12 o'clock, 10 o'clock for me. And I'm um, looking at the ES futures, which is the E-mini S&P 500 futures. Um, for all you guys that do, that do know, uh, it is a uh, derivative of the major index, uh, the S&P 500. So this is what I'm gonna be doing is trading. Uh, this is my live recorded session today. And uh, I always want to start off and thank everyone who's currently subscribed to the channel. Uh, thank all the subs who have subbed to the channel. And uh, if you're first come uh, or newcomer to the channel, thank you for watching today, for tuning in, no matter how you found the actual channel. And hopefully we can gain you as a subscriber to the channel. Uh, it's a great, this is a great community, guys, because we have a Discord set up. Uh, we have great um traders from either beginner levels or more experienced level traders but the thing about it is is that this community this channel here is surrounded around future traders who are basically uh, inspiring one another and trying to help one another out so if you're interested in joining the discord for free simply click on the link down in the description portion of this video below this is the discord um, where we each and every morning during the trading sessions we share ideas Ideas, not ideas, but ideas, um, thoughts, our thoughts about you know trading certain levels. Um, I'm a supply and demand style trader, so yes, I follow price action. I don't use a bunch of indicators, but you know there's a lot of traders on the Discord as well that trade the ES as well, but they also may trade some other markets. So if you trade like the Nasdaq, maybe the Dow, or maybe even another asset class, um, you know, um, or equities class, equities market. Uh, that fall under the, the future markets. It could be it could be oil, you know, crude. It could be um, you know grains or or the currencies or, or some means or another. But it doesn't really matter as long as you're a future trader. Join the Discord and um, you know kind of see what we do. We converse each and every day about the markets about throughout the session and uh, share ideas about certain levels. Um, it's a kind of a question and answer type form as well. So if you're looking for just a good wholesome community to join. Uh, come over to the uh, Future Trader with Mike uh, Discord channel. Join today, and uh, we invite you in. All right. Outside of that, um, yeah, we're going to get started here. But yeah, guys, everyone, everyone who's currently subscribed, and if you're a newcomer to the channel, uh, before you hit that subscribe button, make sure to also, well, after you hit the subscribe button, make sure to also um, click on that little bell icon, which should be somewhere near the subscribe button. I, uh, the subscribe button, I would think. Because that's going to make sure that you never miss one of the uploads here on the channel each time that a video is posted to the channel, okay? We also have membership programs, which is through the YouTube membership program. Um, I have two tiers or two levels set up to where you can join as um, either a uh, loyal channel supporter or elite channel member, okay? The elite channel member uh, just gives you a little bit more perks. Um, so each level you get certain perks, whatever the case is. But uh, the elite channel member uh, uh, membership gives you... Uh, the opportunity to, to receive exclusive video content kind of behind closed doors that you wouldn't receive public to the channel or, or public to the community, whatever the case is. It's just I spend more time in detail and going through my uh, trade breakdown. So, you know, like me right now, I'm sitting here gearing up to get ready to trade. I'm a little late, but I typically wait about 20, 25 minutes to start trading uh, after the session opens at 930 Eastern time. But basically, these videos, are which we made exclusive to uh, channel members, um, I'll be breaking down my trades in detail. The first one was posted yesterday because I just started the uh, membership program. But, you know, it's the price of a, of a cup of coffee pretty much um, monthly. And uh, what you get is an inside view of my trading. Now, I'm not, I don't claim to be a educator or a trainer or of any sense. But this is how I trade. And you can kind of see and understand um, how I trade surrounding supply and demand. Uh, so, if you're interested in joining as a channel member, um, you know, there is a lot of value added into me discussing the trade breakdowns because I go into depth and detail um, on my trades that I take during the session, whatever the case is. So like this video, will be, this video here will be posted to the public, but you know, on the days where I actually break down and go through um, my trades, you'll be able to get a full understanding or an inside view of what I'm thinking, the thought process as I'm getting ready to take a trade because I'll walk you through pretty much the setup of what I'm looking for as you know I'm looking at uh, market structure and following price action and kind of waiting for price to come back to certain areas so I, I look for areas of rejection and then I take a trade and I talk about you know the breakdown of that actual of those actual trades so if you're interested in joining uh, just for a few bucks you can you can sign up for the or join the membership side 
uh, the program. That's the Elite Channel, becoming an Elite Channel member. But I don't want to beat that horse to death. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. I'm waiting for my charts to upload, pretty much a load up. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a look here at the 60 range chart. Um, let me give a couple seconds here for this uh, data to, to kind of uh, finish up coming in, okay? Okay, so I just got my charts loaded back up here. Um, looking at the 60 range, which is my higher time frame, we are breaking to the upside. So we're just making these higher highs and higher lows. Uh, into the overnight session, we broke this area resistance right here. And um, um, price is pulling back to a demand area right now, we can see, which is right here. All right, so looks like it bounced um, at the wee hours of the morning. Uh, actually, and it came back. Well, I know it came back, pulled back here to around at, at around um, since the right around the time the market opened up. So we're bouncing off of a good area right now, small volume area here on the 60 range chart. But you know, this is off the higher demand, so I would be probably interested in maybe taking or looking for long entries. But what do I have to see? I have to see price kind of breaking some some means of structure to the upside for me to really be interested in taking any kind of um, any kind of trades, guys. To be honest with you, so I'm a Minimize this and look at the um now I'm going long real quick because price can probably come up here and test at least I think 83 and a half so um I'm gonna scout this right quick okay hopefully I get filled here first contract second contract boom okay I got got filled there back up to I said like 83 and a half why because this is an area of resistance right here so. Uh, notice the little bit of rejection right here. Price came down, okay, made a low here. So it kind of like, you know, kind of um, uh, went sideways a little bit here, kind of zipped around, pushed up on a pullback. Long as it doesn't break down below, close with the green candle, go long, you can take it back up to this area here. Now price is breaking, trying to break back into structure right here. If price closes above this area or this little zipper, I probably will go long again, taking it back up to maybe. Uh, this area right here around 87 and a half. So we'll see what happens here. I'm not sure what it's going to do, but um, I, I'm, I'm, I am I am um, actually a little late on this trade here. Well, I'll take a look. I'm, I, yeah, it closed. So we'll see what happens here. I'm looking forward to um, now I can pull back here. Okay. Okay, it broke this area here, so I don't like this already, what I'm seeing. So it can actually pull back to this area right here. Uh, so I need to be very careful here. But I'm looking for a push up here. I'm looking to get filled. I'm trying to get filled here. This could be kind of iffy. Price has bounced off my level already. Look at that. It's, uh, yeah. Don't have much room here to actually trade this area. So let me be careful here and trade this smart. It's pulling back on me already. Okay. I might need to. Um, all right. I'm going to scout this just to kind of get out this trade. Come on, baby. Uh, there we go. I don't know why this thing is acting funny like this. Let me get out of this tree. Okay. All right. Um, all right. And I'm thinking maybe he right here 87 and a half. So I'm going to probably get out. Let's see. 86 and a half is where. Let's see, I think it's going to come to 87 and a half. It could run a little higher, but I went ahead and got out though. So 
So I took two little trades here, one here, and then one again here. All right, so let's see what happens. Um, so far, let's see what I'm up right now. It's this morning. Um, boom. Trade performance. Today is the 10th. I didn't do any trading last night to the overnight session. So um, I'm up just 12 ticks right now, scalping. Not much of anything, so just scalping. Uh, 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 let's see. But if we look at the 12 range chart, um, you can see where it's even breaking higher here. But, you know, the 12 range kind of by directional, even though it's a lower time frame, you know, looking from the 60 range, uh, we actually started getting some breaks of structure back down to the downside, meaning making lower lows and lower highs. So I think this thing is probably going to run up to, um, um, 94. So it's kind of breaking back in the structure. I talk about this in the um, Elite Channel member video when I did the uh, breakdown yesterday to those that have signed up for the uh, membership program or through the membership. You know, I, I say, guys, it's a small fee, but it's it's a very I provide very valuable content in those videos because I take the time to go into detail in depth after my my trade session to um, uh, talk about those trades I've take, taken and break them down. So people can understand why I took my trades. Okay. So I don't know. Maybe we'll get some, you know, prices pulling back to an area of, you know, we got resistance right here. And this is an area where, let's see, um, price is pushing up here. This could be, you know, this is an area. Price could bounce where it's at, but it could come up here too. This is the this is supply sitting up in here. So um, let me take one, take a look at one thing. Okay. Yeah, up in here is area supply, so um, I'm going to mark that area with this purple line right here. So I'll put this right here. Okay, we'll see. But yeah, it could run up there, uh, definitely. So um, if price breaks this area right here, uh, right here takes out 90 and a half, pretty much. I probably, which is right here, the top end of this area here. I'll probably take this trade. Or go, I'll, I'll probably on a pullback, I'll probably look to go long, um, taking it back up here to 94, right around the, where the VPOC is at. So we'll see. Yeah, so when price broke this 90, I mean, excuse me, this 84 and a half pretty much area, this little zipper right here, it started breaking back into this area of structure right here where price moved to the downside. I looked at it as an opportunity to go long on the pullback, price, you know, kind of rejecting, but uh, I was a little iffy here because price, when it pulled back here, it actually broke a little level here, so on the way down. But to me, that's not much of anything because it's um, not a significant area of uh, support right here, so. But yeah, I'm gonna look to see what price does if it breaks this 90 and, and a half or 90 and three quarters area. Okay, so right now it's kind of piddling around. This is an area to possibly even look for for a short, um, just depending. So we'll see, but be careful because price is already started breaking back into this area of structure. The swing to the downside right here, as price is moving higher here, so I already started breaking back into it, or back up to the upside. So, um, if you go short here, you gotta be be, be careful because you have, you know, you have support right here. Some areas where price could could um, bounce at. So you gotta be careful. Like right here and even right here. So the price does have the potential to maybe even want to run back down to eighty two area, the low this low right here. But um, it's a little, a little difficult because market pushed up here. Let's pull it back. So it pushed up, making a high here, making a higher low. Um, and now it's trying to run back up here to the upside, looks like. But right now we're kind of in the middle of this little this leg to the downside right here. So 
Uh, trading is kind of iffy, and it looks like it's trying to set itself up to be a little wedge and kind of build volume in this area right here, so be careful. Yeah, it's kind of moving sideways right here, and it, it may push back up to the V-pot, which is that area I talked about just a minute ago, around 94, 95 area. So we'll see. I'm taking this trade. I'm looking for it to come up here, up here to um, 94 and a half. So, uh, I'm being aggressive here, and I'm um, really not waiting on the pullback. So, I'm being aggressive. Okay, one contract field there. Come on, baby. Come up to 94 and a half. Uh, let's watch it pull back. I may take be smart here and take out. Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and take out. Okay, we're kind of up in this area right here where there's resistance at. So uh, I, I mentioned break of, of, of 90, uh, 90 and a half or 90 and three quarters, right? Okay. So it's coming back up here. There is an area of um, supply sitting up in this area right here, so be careful. So right now I'm up. Um, pull up my trade performance right quick. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, my computer's... Okay, there it goes. I'm up 22 ticks. I'll show you guys. Um... Just up 22 ticks right now. Just scalp them real quick. Trying to pick up some something this morning. Trades. Sorry. I won't be trading. Um, and I won't be in the markets on Thursday or Friday, which is tomorrow and on Friday. I'll be back on on Monday of next week. So, wish everyone a, a, a you know next two days a, a safe trading day. Right, so now we're in this area here. Take a look at it off the 12 range. What do we see here? We see an area to me. This is an area of demand. Well, I'd be excuse me, not demand. I'm sorry, supply. Um, and let's see, boom, typically in this area, yeah, right up in here. Now you can test this area up here too. So um, but right up in this area right here. So you could get some rejection right here. We got a, uh, you know, big push to the upside right here. All right. So price can reject this and then come back down. But why? Because, you know, price pushed down at a low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So we're breaking structure on the downside as we were making structure back to the downside. Okay. But still, the higher time frame is, is telling us that we probably need to be looking for long. So, off the 12 range, if you're using a 12 period with your 4 range, then your 12 range is telling you that the trades could possibly be bi directional. Okay. All right. So we're back at to the VPOC right now. We're back at the, at the VPOC and um, yeah, no trade for me. All right. And I may just take maybe one or two more trades, guys, and uh, call it a, a session to kind of get an early start to my weekend because I have some things lined up and I just need a little breather. All right. But I will be um, um, posting a video. There'll be an upload for tomorrow. Okay. So. There'll be an upload scheduled for tomorrow. Even though I'll be away from the computer, it'll be scheduled for a certain time tomorrow. If I can get around to doing it today, that uh, come Thursday, it should be, you know, tomorrow be an upload to where once that scheduled time hits, it'll, it'll publish to the to the channel for you guys to have some content, all right? So we'll see what happens here. We're at the VPOC. I mentioned this could be an area of rejection, so let's see. Maybe. Uh, um... 
price test it. Yeah, price hasn't tested this area, so this could be an area of rejection in a sense. It breaks um below this area here. I might take a short at 92, possibly. I don't know. It'd be kind of iffy because then it could it may run down here to 90 and kind of bounce. So you gotta be gotta be a little iffy because this here there's some 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 volume here, some you know some buying that took place right here and back down to this area here. But you know we'll see. You know, at the VPOC right now. So this is a no-no zone for me. I mean, we are in the middle. Let's see here. Yeah, we're kind of pushing back to the tops here. And we're at this, you know, high volume area here. But we're back at the tops right here. Um, and this is a pretty much supply area here. So on the way down, price pushed down. Okay, it didn't take out this area of, or a, a area of... Um, Support or right here on the way back down yet. So it did it did take it out right here But we got this pullback right here price came back up. It tested this area here push down Pull back tested this area here. So actually this move will just run back up to the upside right here It came back up here and tested this, this area of um, Supply right here uh, would, would have been a good short. Okay, and then we break back down so price could actually possibly it's in the area where it can reject that again. Um, so we'll see. But we're around the VPOC, so that's kind of iffy. You can see what I was talking about on price pushed up here. It pulls back, breaks higher. This was the man off the 60 range, so all you do is wait to see if price is, you know, what it's going to do on the 12 range. It rejected down here on the 12. This is what they call a V. This is what it, what's called a V-shaped reversal. It didn't really. You can't really see any kind of rejection off the 12 range. So if you look at the four range, that's what you're going to base things off at the scale down to a lower time frame and start looking for those areas of rejections. But um, yeah, so price could uh, it could break. Let's see this area right here, right? All right, being that we bounced off the 60 range uh, chart at a, at a demand level and then pull back to this area somewhere down here, and then we could look for another long possibly. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, let's take a look and see. So we are up in these areas here where price could actually reject again. It did break through this area right here. So we'll make that invalid now. Okay. But we are up in this area right here. And, you know, already, this wasn't a supply zone sitting up in here. So we can basically take our, take a, um, zone market right here, upper end of the high volume area. We could possibly look for some area rejection. So. You know, we'll see. Mm. Well, we got the depot right below us, so that's a little tricky. So we're getting some rejection back up here at the tops. Um, right here, this area here I just marked at. But we have the VPOC right here. So, I mean, you know, being that we are getting rejection, okay, on these pull, as prices making these lower lows and lower highs, getting rejection up here. Um, this is, you know, it price could reject and come back down here. But the problem, the only issue is that, you know, for one, we got the VPOC where we're at. And then you got to be mindful of these micro swings too. So, price has got to break through these areas to really get a run back down. You know, it, it could, it, you know, VPOC's right here. So, there's a lot of volume sitting right here. Um, there's a zipper uh, or, or an area where prices are moving sideways, kind of, you know, moving sideways right here. Some buying came out. It's kind of break this. It breaks this. It could run here, but then you got another area here. So you got to look at these small levels too, okay? Because anywhere in between, price could bounce at. So pay attention to those areas. Yeah, nothing going on right now, guys. We're just right around the VPOC, and maybe we'll get a break above 42. I'm not sure, but, you know, 42 is a round number, so... And we are sitting up here in this area where there's lots of resistance at, or, you know, uh, but it is a supply area sitting above the top of the volume area. So I'm just going to hold steady, hold steady right now, see what happens. All right. So we have broken this area of resistance right here. It's price, you know, made a high here, pull back, boom, breaking higher. Um, So we're going to come back down to. If possible, on a retracement, you know, we have 
It's a leg here. This is a portion of this leg right here, but still, price could actually um, pull back here, even here. But we want to take the trade below a low volume area. So uh, one thing you could do is possibly even draw out like a little mini range profile. You can see a little volume sitting right there. So price has a potential to maybe come back here and bounce. Um, but then we have some areas below here so as well. So we'll see. But right now the market is is bullish. I mean, it's bullish. You can see only 60 uh, as well. So um, I'm not sure where we got a potential to actually kind of bounce at because it's actually breaking through or breaking or trying to break above, well, just did above this high right here. So um, from uh, May the 27th or 28th, one or the other. So we just broke through a major area of resistance. Um, let me blow this up so I can actually see. I must see what day it was. I want to say that was the 29th. Yeah. 29th just broke a major area of resistance on the 29th so or through a major area of resistance there on the 29th so uh yeah we'll see I'm put that out in the discord just what was that may 29th Yeah, it's got a break above um, 40. Oh, what did I say? I'm looking here. It's got a close above 42, around the 4208 area. And look at the, 12, at the 60 range if it really wants to push up to the upside. There's an untested area there sitting at 4262 area, somewhere around there on the 60 range. Look at the 12 range. It looks like we've already broke above that, but. Um, I always like to see a, a candle close above, you know, on a higher time frame. So right now we're getting some rejection at a small little area off the 60 range. So, um, do -do -do. um yeah, so I'm not sure. Uh, we could get a pullback to around this area here. Or even potentially down to this area right here. So maybe around 4203 or somewhere. I don't know about this one here because it's at the upper edge of this high volume area. So, but maybe here, but it could pull back here and bounce. But this would be kind of a, um, let's see, um, small little support area right here, or supporting swing, I say. And then, um, you know, there's resistance sitting right here as well. So we'll see. I'm going to see what happens in the next, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, and then I'll probably just call it for a day. Yeah, prices bounce on a pullback right here just to come back up and maybe test around, I don't know, 09 area, uh, maybe maybe 4210 area. But just waiting to see what it's going to do more so than anything. Um, we, are at a small, we are at an area off the, the higher time frame, the 60 range chart where price actually bounced. I didn't... Really look at, let me see. I'm take a look at the 24 range. Maybe that'll kind of paint a little better picture for me. Let's go out here on this 24 and see what we got. Eh, eh, eh. Where are we at? Oh, right in this area right here. So yeah, there's a little area right here. Um, that's pretty much uh untested right here. So price can bounce here. Um, it come up here untested right here at 21 or 22 there again 20 at 46 and then up here like I was saying around a 62 to 65 area somewhere in this area up here so there's a couple little areas that the price could actually um, move up to and, and reject from and all these areas these swings to the downside this is up the 24 range but these are areas of resistance and they're untested areas where price um, didn't come back to fill you know, fill fill these areas in. So price can run back up to them and reject, and then, you know, we'll see, though. Okay, I took a little trade short at the break here. 
back to this area right here so a few ticks i'm looking for some rejection maybe in this area where price is at now um to maybe go long so we'll see um let's see here so a little short of the break it toward to a pop the one that's out to the discord there was a short at 4205 Just for a few scout, us few tips, uh, you know. So we'll see. I need to see it. I need. I need to see it kind of break this area on back way back to the upside here. Um, pretty much breaking above forty two oh four. But in all honesty, if it breaks here to the upside, I may go long. So we'll see. It's got to close above though. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just waiting, guys. Small little area right here, but price can actually push lower, so it's not really showing me. Um, it was a little long right here. Um, I threw it out on the Discord, but just for a few ticks here. But got short at 40. Okay. All right. We'll see. Wait patiently. Price breaks this area here, pulls back. Maybe I'll take it and run it back up to this area right here at 4208 and it could possibly push higher up to, yeah, 4208. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. I'm not saying it's going to break it though, but it looks like it's trying to, so. We'll see. All right, let's see if it breaks here. I really like to see a break and then a pullback, but. The distance of the area in between if the break of um twenty uh, excuse me uh, forty two oh five and a half and forty two oh eight and a half is only about three points there so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into uh, you know a decent trade it could be I don't know about that one let's see let's see let's see let's see yeah so I broke this area here. It could be a long one to pull back right here, take it back up to 08. Um, it's possibly this area right here, 08 and a half. But you got this little small micro swing area right here where price could actually bounce at. So it actually needs to clear this area, but still you're already back up to 08. So uh, the trade to take would have been the moment price broke. It, it bounced off this little uh, demand area right here and uh, clear it, broke the resistance, pull back. Uh, you know, it didn't break any structure on the way back down. And then taking out this level right here. Uh, reject it, green candle, you can go long. Um, so basically want to pull back, green candle close, go long, take it back up to uh, 08.5 pretty much. I missed that trade there, but it um, would have been a solid entry. Okay. All right, I, I'm going to close the, my uh, this video here out, guys, um, and I'm, I'm going to be done for the rest of the week until next Monday. I only ended up with uh, 27 ticks today, so I'm just going to – that's fine for me. It is what it is. Um you know, I could have taken a trade here on the pullback and been okay, gotten in here at 05, say, say 05, taking it back up to 08, that would have been three points, but I missed it, so we don't we don't get everything every day, right? So I appreciate everyone tuning in and watching the video today. Um, for trading, please be safe, and I'll see you guys next week, all right? Take care. Have a great weekend as well.